welcome, welcome, guys. We're back at it. We're going to be playing the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. As you can see uh, right here, the box. What? So I've done a ton of videos, Neo Geo stuff. This one that I just put this hack on and then added these new themes. Uh, this Neo Geo Arcade Stick was sent to me by that company I talked about earlier. Uh, NeoGeoArcade.com and they did reach out to me about that the previous video. Well, I, I let them know like, hey, I, I uploaded that. Do you have any information concerning that other stick? And all they told me is that they haven't got them yet and that they're waiting on it and when they get more information, they'll let me know. You know what I'm saying? And that the, the stick itself, that Fun R1 by Unico, that it's not it's not an SNK product. We already knew that. Like, but they've been working with SNK. It's kind of like the Capcom Home Arcade, which I do have a video coming up on that soon, where it's not made by Capcom. Um, but it's officially licensed. So it's that kind of thing. Like they license the games here, make something, right? But let's go ahead and mess around with the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Let me see who's all up in the chat. What's really going down? Uh, liberalism is a cult. Creepy Joe Biden. Retro Mang. Neo Severa. What up? Oh, snap. G Rolla. Uh, Chad Wolf. Retro Man. Um, I see. What the, what the, what's, what's going on here? We're already getting uh, uh, messages that are, that are getting uh, blocked here. Guys, try not to, you know, get all crazy in the chat. You know what I mean? Um, why, why, why get nuts? But regardless, guys, calm down. Let's play some games. Check out how they run. Uh, I want to focus on checking out this uh, Samurai Showdown X. I, if Neo Severa is still here, I'm sure he uh, he can explain more information about this game. Um, but from what I understand, it's like the Xbox version that had like storyline in it, and it was like you know never released. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, released outside of that type of thing. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna check it out. But here we go. I, you know, my favorites were always uh, my um, my favorites were always Samurai Showdown four and two. I've played five, but just not a ton. You know what I'm saying? Omni Slash, what up? Axel Stone, Inkling EX. Chan Venark, Kath, everyone has chat names. What do you, I don't know what you mean by that. There we go. We got some, we got some interactions and some stories here. Let's, let's go ahead and play this. I'm, I'm not like, I'm using the stick as a console. I actually have a controller plugged in. I'm going to be using this Neo Geo mini pad with the butt cheeks attached to the back with the little silicone cover, nice little little curvy butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? What Matthew Kelly, I'm not a big Fatal Fury fan. The home console and MVS didn't have an English story, just Japan. Well there you go. Told you Neo Severa's got the story behind this. Gotta have them butt cheeks. I, I need to get me more of these little covers because I probably, these Neo Geo mini pads that don't have clicky sticks because they were hard to make at, at, at that point in time. Um, like I probably have like 12 of these controllers. Like in this little silicon cover thing. It's actually pretty nice, man. Just loves to say them butt cheeks. Your mind, maybe I'll see you there. Let's go, let's just fight. Let's, let's fight. Kid, King of Fighters full start. We'll play a few different games, but I, I just, I did want to check this out for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Butt cracks. All right, let me double check the way these buttons are. There we go. No vapping. Yeah, we, we are, we are a little bit. Okay. Ippon. 
E boom. Cookie sticks are hard to make. Don't doubt them. You know, the only reason they would be hard to make is... Uh... Oh, shit. I wasn't looking. <laughs> it's because analog-type sticks have become so commonplace that they just figure everybody prefers that. And, yeah, you can get used to these, these uh, controls. They're not as horrible as everybody makes them out to be. But if you have the original controller... And you're playing like Neo Geo CD or, or AES with it. That's, I mean, it's it's a whole different story when you jump to this, you know, with a longer throw to do your moves and whatnot. There you go, bro. There you go. Samurai Spirits. That was a piece of cake, bish. So we're going to stream this for a little while, play some other games on here. Um, I know we've been, we've been like streaming Fall Guys quite a bit lately. But, and I'm, now I'm like, you know, it's fun, especially getting all crazy with it. But really got to, really got to see what the, the next season offers on that game. Because, man, like, I know a few people in my comments section are like, you know, they get the same maps all the time. The the variety's just not there. Freaking got me. Perfect on his ass. That's how it's done. <laughs> Ando man, what up? I, I just I keep getting thrown off by how the uh, the button is the buttons are laid out on the uh, the mini pad since they're not the original style with A and B on the left side and then C and D on the right. Like it really throws me off. Chef Dave, what up? Charlie Ward, what's going on? Sound skipping? I'm not having any sound skipping. Could be the sh could be the stream. Could be something else. Let me see. Could be could be the stream. Could be something else. Let me see. Huh? Yeah, I can kind of hear that there. I'm not hearing it here though. Hold on one second. The the. The stream might cut out for a second. I'm not hearing it here though. Hold on one second. The the one sec. It might the stream might cut out, but be right back. <coughs> All right, we're we're back. <coughs> All right, let me let me mute that. Like I got like echo going. It's freaking nuts, bro. There we go. Now we're we're here. We're here. We just had to. The note. Samsung is letting people borrow the Note 20 for three days. What? All right. Let me know if the, uh, the if the sound's messing up. I just I reset uh I reset OBS. Cause sometimes the HDMI connection could be some weirdness going on. But on my end, I'm not. Shit. Fucker got me. Okay, sometimes that happens. Usually I try to check that stuff beforehand, but it hasn't been a problem lately, so I didn't do it. But yeah, sometimes like the HDMI signal, something with the HDMI gets gets janked up and the audio can skip a little bit oh shit oh 
fucker got me. Yeah, notifications have been a little wonky lately, man. So everyone is wondering about the two white buttons on that bar top. What are these two white buttons for on this? They're just there because you can use this in multiple systems. I mean, that's one reason on this anyway. Sianda, what up? Still no notifications. Yeah, man. They're effing me over, bro. Oh, I'll never move uh, East Coast. I, I I know I was born and raised there, but I, I got I got too much too much going on out where I'm at. Too much. Get away from them fires. Yeah. Blaine Lock Locklear, what up? But that site confirmed they're going to offer the nice. From what I originally heard, the MVSX was going to be like North America first and then figured out later. So we'll, we'll have to see, man. Got him. <laughs> I was born in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I lived in uh, Pleasantville, New Jersey. Could you do a, my current system? I, I've never had... I have three of these arcade sticks, and I've never had that, that problem happen. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find anything out, but I've never had that issue. Charlie Ward, am I going to get a Poly Mega? I was told um, a while ago they were going to send me one to review to test out and whatnot, and they asked for my shipping address and all that, said that they're going to send it, and then I never heard anything back, so I have no idea, man. Um, I got games I could test out on it, but if they don't send it, uh, you know, no biggie, whatever. Damn! Benjamin, what up? Greetings from Monterey... Mexico, you've inspired and convinced me to mod like four consoles now. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> oh, she's getting me, man. Mm. I wish you could, like... I wish you could, like, really, um... We're gonna play something else for now. But I really wish you could, like, still do some attacks, like, when they're caught up in another attack. Damn it. All right, what was the request? Somebody was saying play something. What, what was the request? We'll check out something else. Yeah, that arrow chick was jacking me up, bro. Afflicted, I have the, uh... Uh, Tony Hawk, the remaster pre-ordered. Um, the one that comes with the skate deck. The whatever edition that is. And I don't normally get stuff like that, but I was intrigued. I mean, I was going to get the game anyway. <sighs> I'm not like the biggest King of Fighters fan, but I don't know. I like Street Fighter better than uh, King of Fighters. That's just me. Thought I hit a... There we go. It's a great deal for, for the deck. There you go. Why the hell not, right? James Kasusnik, what up? King of Fighters is a 
huge, huge uh, fan base, that's for sure. Of course, I go with her. Whatever. How to Bachelor? What is this running off of? The Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. That's what it's running off of. Fight! 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 Huh. Oh crap. Mm. Oh shit, what the hell was that? That, that bounce is uh, mesmerizing, yo. Brandon Wallace, what up? Do that move. Hadouken! Hadouki! <laughs> oh shit! You got me! Chun Li versus Mai, who would win? Hmm. We all win, that's right. I mean, I care more about Chun Li than Mai, but that's that's just me. I mean, I don't really care because they're fictional characters, you know what I mean? But uh, favorites wise, I mean, I'm always a Street Fighter person. So, God, dude, I really don't don't know what I'm doing playing this game. I mean, I've played the King of Fighters a bit, but never like deeply. You know what I mean? Chun Li's got them thighs, though. <laughs> Is she like Dan with a little with a little baby fire, like wannabe wannabe Hadouken? Oh, I thought she said Psycho Crusher. Yeah, I know. Like some of the moves are gonna be similar to Street Fighter style, but then. There's a lot more to it than that, but I know like some of the basics are. Hmm, bitch. Oh, he kicked me right in the freaking chin. Mm. All right, who's next? Who's next? I gotta use that ground claw. At a action replay that could be used. Oh, interesting. Nope. Nope. All these. Clothing changes. What the hell's going on here? Oh, there's okay. Her, her psycho ball. Reverse, reverse Hadouki. Oh, I like that she could jump off of the. Uh... Dude, I like that. She could jump off of the the, the side of the screen. Hmm.
Did he just say? It sounded like he said "bish." Oh shit! Oh, oh no! Oh, he bitch slapped me. Damn! I don't like this guy. He's drooling all over the place. Oh, damn! Oh, 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 oh! Ah, uh, oh, it would have been nice whatever I just did if that would have hit. Mm, right in the groin! Vice and Yamazaki, the freakiest of fight, king of fighters, fighters. Frickin', you know, vagine. Oh my god. Johnny F, what up? Do you even Hilo stick, bro? Oh, you son of a bitch. I wish I knew her move. Oh! Damn! Oh, here we go. The boob bounce. Oh, right. I don't even know what I did, but I likes it. A dookie. Okay. Oh, shit. Hmm. Joshua H. Finally caught you live. Booyah. Booyah. Shot. What's my favorite Mario Kart? Probably um, the one that I... I mean, the two that I have the fondest of memories of are uh, the Super Nintendo one and the Nintendo 64 one. Um, but it's it's definitely tough to say for sure. Between those two, the original Nintendo 64, probably probably Nintendo 64 one. The one that's on the Switch, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um... I haven't played it much. I've been wanting to because I didn't really play it on the uh, Wii U. Ian Hobbies, what up? Oh, oh, that's the psychic ability. Oh, nice. I haven't had any problems with the uh, high-low stick. I have it set up on two of the three uh, sticks that I have, and I haven't had any issues. If you have any issues, I would like it could be your it could be your USB drive that you're using, or you know you might want to try a different one. Uninstall, reinstall. That's what I would recommend. But I haven't had any issues. Mario Kart Wii, I, I, man, the only game on the Wii that made me keep the Wii was um, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. That was the only reason. We gotta stream that sometime. But that was the only freaking reason I liked the Wii. I couldn't get into it, man. Motion controls. 
I'm I'm a lazy mofo, man. I want to play. I want to play. Fuck, she's fucking me up. I want to play my my games without forced motion controls. You know what I mean? More common issue is USB drive. That's what I would imagine. Some might be trying to pull too much power. Some might just not be good. I use um. Here, I'll link the one I use, and it's overkill, but I've never had an issue. Um, and I've ordered a few of them. I use it on this because I use them on the uh, the PlayStation Classic as well. Uh, let me find it. I'll find the exact one that I use, and I'll post it. Um, like I said, it's overkill, but I mean, you can get a you can get the lower capacity, and it's fairly cheap. But take a look at this listing. This drive has given me no issues on any device that I've used it on at all. Um, I'm going to put it in the description as well. Like, check that out if you're interested. Never given me any issues. And I've tested a ton of USB drives. Um, for many reasons, but mostly because of the PlayStation Classic. I was testing a ton of different USB drives, and that was the most reliable for me. Is that Samsung drive. And I don't even really, um... I don't even really use Samsung stuff, mostly. Like, I'm always, like, SanDisk and whatnot, but I've been ha I've had issues with San uh, SanDisk USB drives. But that Samsung's been serving me well. I've got, like, four of them. No Streamlabs. Should be Streamlabs. Could just be, um... You know, we're gonna exit out of this now. I'm done with that game, dude. I'm done with that game. Yeah, what happened to Streamlabs? I downloaded Streamlabs OBS because I don't... I've, I've not used it. I could never, like... You know, I just use normal OBS, but, um... I do use Streamlabs integrations, but I just downloaded, um... I just downloaded Streamlabs OBS and I'm gonna start messing with that, see what the uh, big deal with that is. But let me let me see. No uh like you know, I'm testing testing stuff. The overlays are working. Overlays are working, so uh, I don't know what's up with the, the the Streamlabs bot. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll start popping up now that I opened up Streamlabs, but mm -hmm. I just use OBS because I've used it for such a long time. Um, and haven't had any issues with it. But, yeah, I guess, you know, there's other options are better. Whatever. I don't have to turn the bot on. He's he's on, like, all the time. Uh, he's on. He could, he could just not be, like, working. I don't know. He could be on... Yeah, he could be taking a break. He could be, uh... You know, he could be doing... Somebody said to play uh, Match or Melee, but... All right, we'll check that out. Joshua H, man. Yeah, the uh, original Neo Geo cartridges are freaking nuts, dude. Yeah, the the bot, the stupid cloud bot, he, his, his sorry ass is always on. Charlie Ward, what gaming goals do you have right now? I'm planning to collect physical Switch games by Polymega when it comes out and buy an Xbox Series X. Um, I'm actually trimming down my Switch collection because I have way too many freaking games. Um, the Xbox Series X, uh, I'll get either that or the PS5. If I can get both, at, you know, when they both come out, then cool. But if not... I don't know yet. Um, we'll have to see, but what I'm focusing on is actually trimming down the games that I have. 
because I mean you only live once and it's like I don't have enough time to play all these freaking games man Derek have you seen the pie boy DMG yes I have that's another company that reached out to me to ask me to review it collected my information and then never responded to me again so I'm aware of it but I, don't know. I was told I'd get a, a review unit I'm not entitled to anything I'm not like complaining like oh I deserve it they should send me stuff but a lot of companies lately have been like hey we're gonna send you this and then they never do um, after they ask for my information it's like whatever dude but yeah I'm, I'm aware of the pie boy DMG but I'm, I'm not gonna buy one damn dude this 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 is brutal I've never played this before Torch fuzzy nuts? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know like kind of crazy shit you're into, bro. I'm just trying to punch fools in the nuts in this game here. Simpsons is on here. Well, there you go. The, the Pimpsons is on here. We may check that out then. Like, I, I, I'm using... Oh, shit. I'm using this, so I was like... Um gonna focus on Neo Geo, but we should be able to play we should be able to play The Simpsons since it's a, it's a two button game. It's it's the Hilo stick hat. Oh shit, what is he doing? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Robo Mezzer owner, yeah, nobody's getting the uh the notifications. Nobody's getting them notifs. Mad little Jesus? What the hell? Why would, Why do you call me that? What the hell does that mean? Let me Let me uh, Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. All right, let's go to the uh, Let's go to the brawler section. Brad Jennings, what up? I need to get rid of this crap. Like, I just want, um, I just want Neo Geo. I don't even want Capcom or any of this other stuff. I just want Neo Geo on here. How, how do I remove this shit, Neo Severa? <laughs> I don't want anything on here, to be honest with you, other than Neo Geo. How do I get rid of that stuff, man? Email me or, or, or if you can, Neo. I just want to remove that shit. I just want Neo Geo. Maybe Capcom, but mostly I just want Neo Geo, man. I don't want the rest of this stuff on here. I, I, that's all I want, man. I don't want none of this other stuff on here. I don't want to play any of these games. I just want to play Neo Geo games on this thing. All right, here we go. The Pimpsons. Vectorcraft. Yes, I I have. Uh, I just installed those. Uh, right before the stream started. I actually really dig them, dude. Really nice. Uh, the Capcom and Neo Geo looks, looks, uh, legit, bro. Legit. And look, they, they made sure to put the two-player version on here so you could Homer. select your character. What? Maggie! Alright, what are the buttons? Okay, cool. Yeah, we could play this this way. Yeah, I, I don't know. What do I want to keep on here? Okay, that's jump. Alright. Nacho Man, I think, yeah, Streamlabs is tripping a little bit. Uh, the stream won't, James. I've played this game before on stream. Not on the Neo Geo, though. <laughs> All these Konami games were like very similar, just different themes. Sound seems a bit off. It it it, it, it does a little bit.
Yeah, I think I just I just want Neo Geo on this thing. I don't want any of these games on here. Yeah, I just I, I like to keep like all these kind of systems like specific. Like NES Classic, just NES games. Super Nintendo Classic, just Super Nintendo. Like, I, I, I like to keep all this stuff, like, specific to what it is. Otherwise, you're like, why do you have all these devices? I can play all these games on one, right? The, the sound's a little off, but it's not, not crazy. Got him. The torch fuzzy nuts. I don't. I don't know what that dude's tripping on, but he, he uh, he's tripping, yo. Homer. I don't know what that guy's talking about, man, but we, we ain't got time for all that. Drop your balloon and go after Maggie. Ready? Yeah, let's go. go. Ah! No, that fuzzy nuts dude. That fuzzy nuts dude is like like on crack or something. I don't know what he's tripping on, dude. on that, that that weird shit. You can't even say good shit. It's the weird shit. Kind of done with this. What what other games should we test out? What other games should we test out? I really don't want to play The Simpsons, man. I don't really want to play a game like this right now. Hammer for Homer. Do I watch any old cartoons? I mean, I guess a little bit, because I have kids, so we'll watch some old stuff. We'll watch, like, uh, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And, uh, the old DuckTales, Gummy Bears, uh, some older anime as well, the old Ninja Turtles. Joshua H., appreciate that fist bump sticker. What? Thank you. Oh, shit. Ron doesn't like soda. I like soda, but I just don't I try not to drink soda that often. Homer. Nvidia Shield? No. No. 
I had one, but I never used it. Never set it up to use it for anything. And I think I got it, and I was like, what, what am I getting this for? Like, I, I mean, I've got so many other things. I think I bought it, like, on Amazon on sale, and I wound up returning it. Like, I never opened it, didn't use it or anything. I was just like, I have so many devices, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, if it was, like, already set up for me, it'd probably be a different story, but it was more of, like, I just didn't have the time to fuck with it and the interest, I guess. But then again, like, I mean, I wouldn't be buying it pre-set up or anything like that. But, um, yeah, I just didn't have the time, patience, or interest, so I just... I returned it, man! <sighs> Got that morph... morph... morphmation. I'm gonna die already. Oh shit. There we go. The Donkey Kong 3D cartoon. I don't think I've ever watched that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still playing this, man. Run. He's there back then where arcades really. or jug deals went down. I don't... What do you mean, Ron? Back then, were arcades really were drug deals? I don't know what you just said, man. I, I don't think I've ever seen a drug deal go down at a arcade. Around the early 2000s? Uh, early 2000s, man. I was working multiple jobs. I didn't have time for shit, to be honest with you. I was, I was too busy. I was just too busy in the early 2000s. The late 90s, early 2000s, working multiple jobs. Trying to, trying to pay that rent, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, alright, I'm done with this game, dude. Gamers don't do drugs. See, you guys always catch me like off uh, off guard with that kind of stuff. Like I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but then I know what you're talking about when you actually when you explain it to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. J slash DRM. What up, bro? Uh, I'm gonna go back to Neo Geo. That's that's where it's at. That's where it's at for me, dude. Brian got it. James, I don't know. I, I mean, I couldn't really, like, read what you were... Maybe I just can't read. Ron, you were there back then where arcades really were. Drug deals went down. Like, see, you got me You got me mixed up with the wares and the wares. <laughs> That's all good, dude. Sometimes you got to explain shit to me, man. We played Match for Melee, or whatever it's called, and I sucked at it. Winners don't use emulators. You got no choice with a lot of things nowadays, man. All right, what's next? Neo Geo. What are we going to play on Neo Geo? Oh, Super Mario Maker Sunday Fun Day. We got to plan that, right? <laughs> it's all good, James. It's all good, bro. The irritating maze is on here? How the hell do you play that? Is that even playable on here? Hmm. 
Nightmare in the Dark is too sluggish for me. I, I have the actual cartridge of it for the, the MVS. Um, Nightmare in the Dark's cool, but it's just too slow. It's way too slow for me compared to, like, Snow Bros. <sighs> yeah, that menu noise is a little, a little annoying. Play Ninja Masters for a minute. Sienda, yeah, I just scrolled right on by it. Yeah, people do get tense over Magic Gathering. I used to go to Friday Night Magic all the time. God, playing this this way? I can't... I can't play this game with this. I mean, I guess I can, but, like, the buttons confuse me. Media glitch, what up, man? Appreciate it, dude. I, I get I get confused with this weird A B C D layout on this uh, on the mini pad because I have the original pads, and I'm just so used to playing these games that way. It, it just doesn't. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, you just, you got to get reacclimated, I guess. I haven't used these controllers in a long time. I normally just use the stick, and I set it up to use the top four. Fucker. Got my credit card statement with the analog pocket on it. 334, that's probably about what I paid too with the dock, right? Why? Oh my God. I hate having to do that. Like I have to use two fingers to, to <laughs> the dock, oh, the dock on the screen. I didn't get the screen protector. I was like in a rush, like I knew it was going to sell out, so it was like, let me grab it. I'm a lot better at this game if I use the stick, but it's alright, I'll get used to this. Man, I'm waiting for my Neo Geo Samurai Showdown collection to come from Pix and Love. I don't know when that's supposed to come out, the collector's edition or whatever? I, it's like, dude, I have to, like... Like, I didn't want to buy it digitally since I got it on the Epic Game Store and streamed it back when it came out. Like, I wanted the physical editions, and I didn't know which I wanted for the Switch or the PS4. 
So I I ordered it for both. Like a dumbass, I ordered it for both. Where the PS4 version is obviously going to be the um the superior version because it has that scaling, that HD scaling, whereas the Switch version does not. Whatever it's called, I don't remember what the hell it's called, but I, I remember uh, Sarumaru was explaining it um, to me when I had mentioned something and I didn't know that it wasn't on the Switch version. And he was like, no, it's not on the Switch version. I was like, son of a bitch. Right in her face! <sighs> so when I finally get those, the Samurai Showdown collection, I'll probably just, like, sell the Switch version, I'm thinking. I don't know. Yeah, Samurai Showdown 6 for free. It was like I was tempted, but I was like, I've already got it ordered. I'm not going to do it, man. Pascal Wagner in Europe, it was sold by Picks and Love. That's who I ordered it from because I didn't want to didn't want to bother with the limited run, to be honest with you. have a link let me look it up real quick i believe they only have um it's picks and um hold on i'll find it i think they only have the standard editions man left but let me let me get their their link No problem, Pascal. She got me. All right, we're going to switch it up. We're going to switch it up. <sighs> Over top, panic bomber. 
the hell is that? Pochi and Nya? Ugh. Somebody said SVC Chaos, not one that I... I remember looking at this game in the arcade, playing it a little bit, and it just didn't do it for me. But we'll check it out a bit. Charlie Ward, do you prefer FPGA or em emulation? Um, my preference is whatever's convenient and works properly. You know what I mean? What, whatever is the most simplest, easiest solution. Um, yeah, I use FPGA devices, but I also use emulation devices as well. As long as they're done right, um, and just to start playing it, like, I don't have to put in a ton of effort. If I just want to play something, then yeah, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Like, I like the analog devices, you know, FPGA, but I'm sure you're probably meaning more like Mr. I just didn't, I never liked this game. Like, it's just... I mean, maybe I just never gave it much of a chance, but... Like, I just don't like how, like, it doesn't have that, that Street Fighter fluidness to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, very, very, very stiff for sure. No escape, bitch! Oh my god. That doesn't, doesn't have the King of Fighter feeling. Oh, or the Street Fighter feeling. What is this? Right? Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Combos. I don't know if I got any combos in this game. Now and and I lost. Time's up. I lost. Damn it. Diana Hernandez, appreciate you stopping in though. All right, I'll, I'll try again. I'll try again. Continue. Hmm. No service. Not she. I am I. It seems you are you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thought I was gonna get him a second time. Parts of it that seem fast, but then parts of it that, that seem slow. It's just because that, that doesn't feel smooth. Dumbass. Jumped right on it. Station obsolete. Let's go. Oh shit! I just just touched my glasses. Can't can't do that, man. I don't know any of you guys who wear glasses, but like for me, if my glasses are not like completely clean, no dust on the lenses, if there's anything, I get a fucking headache, man. Like I'm still seeing something here. Shit. Don't touch me, bish. Like, I, I can't deal with anything at all on my lenses, dude. There we go. I buy, like, like bags of, like, microfiber cloths, like, big-ass cloths like this. Not little eyeglass wipes, because they don't work, man. Even if you get a little cloth eyeglass wipe... They just get dirty so quick, and then, like, they just smudge your shit. I buy packs of freaking microfiber cloths, and when they're... When they ain't clean and right, I get rid of them now. Media, media glitch are the same way about your glasses. It's just, man, my son, my, my oldest son, wears glasses, and his glasses are always dirty. And I'm like, dude, clean them. Like, the hell's wrong with you, bro? He's like, it doesn't bother him. I'm like, how? Like, it's... Your vision is not right. Like, how, how can you be fine with that? Like, even just a little tiny speck of dust, like, will give me a headache, man. I tried contacts, but, like, I, I'm just so lazy, man. And it's a pain to ask getting contacts for me. I have astigmatism in one eye, and then I'm nearsighted in one eye and farsighted in the other. I got some derpy ass eyes, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I have some derpy ass eyes. And uh, it's just a pain in the butt to get contacts that are comfortable. I just, I tried and I just, I'm, I can't do it. Daily con, it's not the point of like, it's just the point of, like, the comfort. Like, I've never had a doctor fit me for contacts, and they're they're perfect. I, and I've tried, like, in my lifetime probably, like, three or four times. It just never has worked for me, man. Like, they just bother my eyes. Charlie Ward. You want my social security number, too? I mean... To give you an idea, my first console is Atari 2600. Bro, 
I, yeah, I'm excited for the Soldier Boy 64. Aren't you? Oh! Dang. Okay, now it's getting... Uh, it's getting a little intense. My, uh, Oculus... My Oculus Quest, I have, uh, prescription lenses installed in it. <laughs> I've, I, I replaced the lenses in my Oculus Quest with prescription lenses so I don't have to wear my glasses when using it. It just means nobody else can use my Oculus Quest. And I'm fine with that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh! Gotta get them Hadokis out, man. Like, I can, I can play the Oculus Quest, um... Wearing glasses, but like, it's just kind of annoying. So I, I, I ordered uh, prescription lenses from a company. I think they were in like Switzerland or something. Like I saw a YouTube video talking about it. And uh, I wound up ordering them. It took like a couple weeks to get to me, which was cool. It didn't take too long. Kenzie Peters, what up, Ron? My girlfriend and I are wa we're watching an old stream of you playing Star Fox Assault. Ah. I, I think I played through the entire game. Didn't I take a break in between? Like, I think I took a break in that stream because people were like, dude, you have to finish this. And I was like, I, I can't. I, I have to I have to go pick up my wife. Like, she's just down the street. I got to go. People were like, oh, wait. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, I'll leave the stream on, and I'll go down the street, and I'll be back. So I legit left the stream on, left my house, and came back. <laughs> People were still there, so that was kind of cool, man. But I do appreciate that, Mackenzie. Miguel Ayala, what up, dude? Oh, shit, who's... Yeah, bish. That tier list was, was, I mean, it wasn't even really a tier list. It was just like ranking the minis, but, um, uh, I don't, I don't count this as part of those because obviously if it was part of it, it would have ranked a lot higher than, than a few items on that list. I find it funny, like the the video that I I uploaded earlier um, about the uh, Pandora box, the DX Pandora box. Which, if anybody watched that, they I, I'm sure they understood that I didn't like the device. <laughs> but I had like a comment that just like I always get weird comments, man. That was like 
saying how um how they can't stand that I'm a shill and that you know I'm I'm sitting there like hyping up this product and this and this and that and that I've lost my way and I'm just like what the fuck is this person talking about dude like oh my god I lost my way <laughs> people need to get like freaking their 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 brains examined <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did you, what video did you watch? Like, I, I hate when I get comments that are like, that, like, state the opposite of what the video actually said. It's like, did you watch the video? Like, I don't understand it. <laughs> like, people are freaking nuts, man. <laughs> What was the, um, I was laughing. What was the video that I uploaded where somebody, like, was like, I disagree with you. Like, they just straight up said, like, how they disagreed with me. And then they, like, pretty much repeated all the points that I made. Um, and, like, so it was like, they agreed with me. But they just, like, came to some weird conclusion that... My thoughts were different than theirs, but in fact, my thoughts were exactly the same. And I was like, what was this person smoking to post this comment, right? And I didn't respond. I was like, I'm sure a viewer, another comment person, um, will, will like comment something. And I waited like a couple hours later and somebody replied to him saying like, like, did you even watch the video you showed? And I just, I just started laughing. No <laughs> Some of them, I don't think it's that they're looking for attention necessarily or trying to troll. I think it's like the, their comprehension is lacking or they just made like some assumptions just from the first like five seconds of the video. And then they didn't like bother watching the rest and they just post the comment based on that. Like, it happens a lot. Kind of strange. Charlie Ward, do you know the way? That sounds like a... Sounds like a dead meme to me. Oh, shit! He got me. He got me. I'm done with this, man. I'm done with this game. <laughs> Appreciate that, Charlie. Waku Waku 7. I played through this on the Sega Saturn on a stream not too long ago. Was it the Saturn or was it the Neo Geo CD? I don't remember. I played through this not too long ago on a stream. I don't I have it for both the Saturn and the uh, Neo Geo CD, so I'm not sure. Do you know the why? <sighs> Who did I play through with? I think I played through it with her. This game's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not an expert at it, but it's, it's pretty fun. I don't know if this is, like, just emulating the game kind of slow. Or if the AES version or Neo Geo version is like this, because I've never played the Neo Geo version other than the disc-based versions, and this feels a little sluggish to me. I can't tell for sure. Yeah, version 1.1 with the Vectorcraft uh, themes. I'd rather it just have Neo Geo games on it, though. <laughs> what is a shmups? It's a word that I never say. I don't like abbreviating stuff like that, but... A shoot 'em up? 
I just call them shooters or shoot 'em ups. I don't call them shmups. I hear people say shmup, and I'm like, you're a schmuck. <laughs> I think like uh, some abbreviations, it's like fine to like write it that way, but to say it that way is just kind of weird to me. <laughs> like abbreviate it letter-wise, but when you say it, don't abbreviate it. <laughs> I say shoot 'em ups as well, or just depend on what it is. But yeah, I typically shoot 'em up. But I hear a lot of people say shmup. The shmuppets. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's fine to abbreviate it, like if you're typing it out, but like to say it that way just kind of. It's weird, man. Bumps. Beat em ups or bumps. Ba bumps. Bumups? Yeah, let's just start calling beat em ups bumups. <laughs> oh shit. I feel like this is a little slow for some reason. Maybe it's not. Like I said, I've never played the Neo Geo version, just the, uh, the disc based versions, but I feel like this is playing slow. Maybe I'm wrong. My family, what up? Cute em ups, what would you call them? Come ups? Got him barely, dude. <laughs> Switch to the Mister real quick and compare. Do I have this on the... I, yeah, I, I have I have all the games on the Mr. for Neo Geo. I have no idea what controller I have synced to the... Mr. I think... Uh, or not synced, but I think I was using a... Uh, a bit, though. Alina! Alina! Charlie Ward, yeah, I did play Waku uh, 7, Waku Waku 7, not too long ago, what, maybe a couple months back? I don't remember what I played it on, though, but it was, it was either the Saturn or the Neo Geo CD. It's on the Neo Geo CD, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it has to be. I'm pretty sure I have it. Now I'm, now I'm curious. I gotta check if I have it. What did I play it on? The hell did I play like this game on? Or was it, it was the Saturn? Yeah, it was on the Saturn. That's what I played it on. Hobbs TV, how come I'm using the controller? This thing and not the arcade stick? Because the way I got my mic and my desk set up right now, I didn't want to move everything. Are we doing an all-nighter? No, not today. Barbecue chicken pizza. That's like one of my favorites, man. Barbecue chicken pizza. 
but like nobody else in my house likes it <laughs> so it's like I, when we do get pizza it's kind of like if i order it it's kind of like nobody else will eat it <laughs> <laughs> He got me. He got me. I'll try one more time, and then I'm going to switch it up. Oh, I should have looked at her moves, damn it. Are you making fun of me? Yeah, I am, bitch. Yeah, looking at the moves and learning the moves is important. Is your outro tune on your vids from an NES game? No. Close, but no. Did he get me? No. Oh, almost. Fucker! Streamlabs, activate! Streamlabs ain't having none of this, dude. The outro, the outro song? Marshall Wein Weintraub, what up? I'm sure I butchered your last name. This, uh, oops. Hold on, let me find it. This song? This is the song you're talking about? That's the song? <clears throat> Was that the song? Or is that a different song? What is the what is the song that I have playing on, on this? I can't hear it. I never I never uh, listen to the song that's playing when I start the stream because it's just not playing through my headphones. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the Earthbound opening credits. Jason Joseph, what up, dude? It's the Earthbound opening credits. Most of my videos that have music playing in it will be from Earthbound. Some people, it drives them nuts. They're like, I hate this music. Stop using it. And I just like it, so I use it every once in a while. <laughs> Got him. There's no prize for guessing correctly because, I mean, it's a pretty uh, common song that I'm sure people know. Any of the Fatal Fury game? Oh man, you must be good. Come on now. No, I haven't played the Fatal Fury games tonight, but I have played them, but just not tonight. Oh shit, I screwed that one up. Ugh. Butt cheek power. <laughs> I know you were kidding, man. Oh, my God. 
Wrong way. He got me. Bonus cunt. I mean, Coon wins. Two weeks, still only a girl. Damn, what a bitch. Play with Maru. Maru, no. That new Batman, I don't, I didn't like the way that new, I don't, I mean, it's not that I didn't like the new Batman. Um, it's just, I thought the Suicide Squad trailer, like, was, was, was dope. Was dope compared to the Batman trailer. Damn, he whooped my ass, dude. That, that freaking, um, yeah, that psh, emo Batman. I, I didn't, mm. I was like, nah. I like that Suicide Squad, uh, Kill the Justice League or whatever it's called. That, that looked pretty cool, man. Who was the worst Batman? I never seen the uh, Ben Affleck Batman. Damn. That fool whooped my ass. <sighs> what is your least? Marvel Cinematic. I haven't watched very many of them. I've only seen the first Avengers. I've only seen the first uh, Thor. I've only seen the first two Iron Man movies. Um, that was it. Like, I got burned out on those movies quick, dude. Grex Hanma, what's my favorite anime movie? This may sound like lame, but I mean, there's tons of awesome anime movies, but uh, for some reason, Spirited Away is just like such a fucking magical mu movie to me that that that's that's got to be my favorite. I when it came out in theaters in the U.S., I seen it like five or six times, and then every every year at the Harkins theaters. They 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 do the those movies um, like September through October or something like that, and they'll typically have uh, Spirited Away in the theater around Halloween. So I, I go and watch it in the theater. I, I just like Spirited Away. I don't know. I mean. Anime and theaters, some theaters, yes. World Heroes Battle Bad. Athlete Round. Never heard of anime and theaters. That's crazy, dude. When Spirited Away came out, I seen it in theaters. My daughter a while back went to see the uh, My Hero Academia movie in the theater. Um, I've seen a few anime movies in the theater. Um, I saw Howl's Moving Castle in the theater. I saw Ponyo in the theater. Um, oh, man, the, the the spirit of the way hit you right in the heart, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's. What, what about it? What's about it that uh, I like it so much? But I, I like it. I don't know. I've seen... I saw... Uh, what was it? One of the Tenchi Moyo movies in the theater? I don't remember which one. Shit, dude. Yeah, the recent Di Dragon Ball movie was in the theater. Um, dude, I've seen, I've seen countless uh, anime movies in the theater. Uh, 
Uh, Neo Severa. I just want a single menu with Neo Geo games. That's all I'm looking for. Like, I don't, I don't really need to have uh, men, uh, folders. Just the list. I mean, it's only like 150 games. I don't mind scrolling through 150 games. <laughs> I used to play the first World Heroes game in the arcade all the damn time, dude. Fuck, dude. I used to play as Brocken. Well, let's try him. Twinkle Star Sprites, fun game, not my favorite, but. Princess Mononoke is a good movie. I don't remember his moves, dude. He's Inspector Gadget and M. Bison. I don't remember his moves, man. I saw Ninja Scroll in the theater as well. I remember that. Vampire Hunter D. I've seen a, a lot of anime movies in the theater. No, I don't know why am I going back to talking about that, but... Yeah, how do I do that move? I don't remember how to do that move. How do I do that move, bro? How do I do that move? Crusher. We're done with that for now. Let's find something else. Yeah, I was trying to charge his attacks, but it wasn't doing nothing for me. We'll do this. Anime movie produced by Disney was, um, what, Spirited Away? They did the English dub under strict supervision. Listen up, here's how... Okay, hey, I'm talking here. Uh, okay. Yes, Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, however you say it. Press C button, okay, yeah. Uh, the, the English version was just uh, dubbed by Disney, but they weren't allowed to change anything. Uh, Arietti, is that what you're talking about? I've seen Arietti. Uh, there we go.
Oh shit. Me up, man. Got him barely. Yeah, I would agree. This this game is pretty damn fluid. I, I have this on the Neo Geo CD and on the Saturn. Still a good boy. Power away! Maybe we have to have it on the uh, Japanese to have the uh, breast physics fully intact. I don't know. Zombie Land 2 wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Some of the jokes fell short. Yeah, it was it was a okay movie. Definitely uh not as good as the first one. Animation wise, Art of Fighting 3 looks better. Alright, let's check that out next. This is like out of any of the other fighting games. It's probably the only other one I've really played much out of the ones that I really like. Like I said, not really big on King of Fighters. Hmm. Dragon Punch Dave, what up, man? Oh shit. Matthew Kelly, I didn't watch that um that that video. I didn't watch that stream or whatever. I know what you're talking about, but like I didn't watch it. I'm not a big uh, Smash player. My children's play it quite a bit. I play it with them every once in a while, but I'm, I'm not like huge into it. 
fun, don't get me wrong, dude. Got him! This shirtless, steroid-looking guys but can't show them, them, them boobs and them butts. Up, dude. Final round. Fucker. got me right at the end. Damn it, dude. Charlie Ward Power Stone would be dope. I would love to see Power Stone come back. All right, what, were, what did I say I was going to check out? Art of Fighting 3? I think that's, uh, I think that's what we were discussing. The Path of the Warrior. Darkstalkers make a comeback. Yeah, these are those are definitely games uh, that I would love to, to see have a comeback. Power Stone for sure, man. Good news, your order, your package from AliExpress is on your way. Great, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Lenny. Hold on, I gotta grab a drink real quick. Be right back. One second, one second. Going for seltzer. I, I do drink sparkling water, but I don't have any. All I have down here in my fridge is beer, and it's really not what I wanted. I wanted some water, but I need something cold. You know what I'm saying? Need something cold. <sighs> Corona premiere. <laughs> when I bought... <laughs> A case of Corona Premier at the uh, grocery store. Um, I wasn't thinking, but I just—I told the cashier, I'm like, I have a case of Corona. <laughs> and he was like, what? I was like, in the cart, in the shopping cart. <laughs> and I was like, oh. 
Oh, I see. I see. Whoever said this was like, like, yeah, the animation is is, is on point. I don't know this game. I've never played it. I don't know that I like this game, but I mean, it's too early to tell. She thinks she's Indiana Jones? She a freaking dominatrix with that whip? What's going on here? Lound two. two. Alright, I gotta get I gotta get the hang of this game, but I do like what I'm seeing. It just feels a little different. Wang Ko San Le Lenny Creston. I don't think I've ever known a, ch a chick to have the name Lenny. Yeah, yeah I mean, this does feel a little like. That sure was exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Love. One. Mm. Yeah. I know a woman named Larry. Does she have testicles? <laughs> Damn it. Larry? <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing, dude. <laughs> she got hit with an ugly stick, though. A whole truckload of them fell on her, huh? You know a, a woman named Greg? Does she have an Adam's apple? <laughs> Greg? Who would name their daughter Greg? I don't... Like, what? Are you serious? Just misgendered me. I don't know. That's crazy. I've never met a um I've never met a woman with a name like that. Bernard? You guys are just fucking with me, man. I have a friend who called her two kids Luke and Leia by accident. She swear no, nah, there's no fucking way. There's no way that's a coincidence. Like, oh, I just thought they were cool names. Like subconsciously, do you? Hear, oh, damn! Smack, smack, smack! Oh, dude, it's like he's grabbing for the testicles. You see that? He's like, Shh. Shh. open fist, open hand. Yeah, yeah. Now go home. That GameStop video and that, 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 whatever that person's name was, I don't want to, I don't want to misgender them. Have you seen that person's rap videos that they've done? Oh my god. Michael Monkey Punch 77 Lugo. What's going on? Mario DS64, what up? 
1972, you have to see this shit. It's the most ridiculous thing in the world, man. I'm doing good, Michael. Monkey Punch 77 Lugo. I just like saying your name, dude. Michael Monkey Punch 77 Lugo. Kasumi Toto, you little bitch! Alright, I'm like, I'm just doing okay. Mario DS64, yes! What's going on with that, dude? Did you get it yet? Burp Roblox, what up, man? Ah! the fuck is that all about? Did she just say, you stupid biatch? I do have it. It has an earlier bios. That is some interesting stuff, dude. Which game looks better graphically? Art of Fighting 3 or Street Fighter 3? For me, Street Fighter 3. Am I biased? I don't know. I just like Street Fighter 3 a lot. A PS2 Slim ODE? That would be interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, once... Once I have a PlayStation 1 with an ODE... Um, I'm done buying consoles, I'm done modding consoles, like, there's no reason. Unless, like, an FPGA console comes out, like, I'm done buying any kind of consoles, I'm done modding consoles. That's it, like, as far as legit consoles go. Like, I'll always be interested in, like, decent, like, mini consoles that are legit, you know what I mean? But, as far as, like, legit systems... I'm done, dude, after that. PS1, PlayStation 1, I don't care about PS2. I don't care about PS3. You want to know why? I know there's excellent games on all those systems, but at some point you have to stop, man. You, you have to, like, you can't play all these games, you know what I mean? Like, for me, I'm not collecting games. I just want ODE solutions, emulation, FPGA solutions. That's it. I have a little collection of uh, NES games and Super Nintendo games. And that's it, man. Neo Geo a little bit, right? But beside that, I'm not buying anything. I'm not doing anything crazy, dude. You live once. I mean, fuck, dude. I can't play all these games. There's just no way. I love handhelds, man. Emperor Lars, I've been going to Target. I go to Target all the damn time. And I've been to a few Targets around here, and none of them have any of those mystery packs. Like, none of them have them anymore. Yeah, people, people do collect not to play, but for me, I, I mean, maybe it's because I'm older. Maybe... I don't know, my view on life has changed a little bit, but I, I feel like material possessions drag me down. Like, the more stuff that I have that I don't use, I think the worse I feel. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's just, I mean, the more stuff I have that I have, I don't use... And then if I keep it in the back of my mind, well, maybe I will eventually use it. I feel like it's a sickness, so I've changed my mentality quite a bit on things, man. Quite a bit. Like, yeah, I do have a, a little collection, but I'm done. You know what I mean? I'm slimming some things down, and I'm just done. So once I have a PlayStation 1 with an ODE, I sell off all my discs. That's it, man. I don't, I don't want to hold on to that. I don't want to hold on to all these games, especially these disc games. I have a game... Um, uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the hell. It's not disc rot or anything like that, but I had a brand new copy 
a Final Fantasy VII black, you know, black label, and um, one of the discs is cracked just from just from being in its case. I don't know from what, but like I opened it and I never played it. That's why I said it's new. Like the discs were never used, um, and like I've looked at it before, and for some freaking reason one of the discs is cracked like out of nowhere I never touched it never played it it was brand new i opened it you know what i mean and the fucking thing was not cracked and then months later it was cracked crazy dude so that for me is like i don't need this stuff because i don't know i i don't know what kind of condition it's going to stay in i don't know what the hell happened to that game yeah, Alex, cartridges have a certain amount of cool for me too. Um, that's that's definitely true for me. That's why, like, I, I have NES cartridges, Super Nintendo, um, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Nintendo sixty four. I have a little little bit, but like, there's nothing that I want. <coughs> like for any of those systems, like if I if I found like rare games that were like worth a lot of money and I got them for a really good price, yeah, of course I would buy them. But I'm not actively, I'm not actively out there looking for games anymore, man. Different priorities and how I spend money because I have kids. You got to realize I've had, I, my kids aren't babies. <laughs> uh, you know, my daughter's a teenager. My oldest son's almost a teenager. Um, then I have a five-year-old. He's my youngest, but I mean, I don't even think it's that so much. Like they're big gamers too. You know what I mean? They they love playing games. It's just more of like I can't play everything. That's that's all it is. Like I have time to enjoy games. For fuck's sake! I mean, I I I have a, a gaming channel as you know one of my main sources of uh, income. <laughs> so I love gaming, but I just, I've, I've realized, like, you don't live forever. I mean, of course you don't live forever, but, like, there's just not enough time to play everything. With new stuff coming out that you want to play, old stuff that you want to relive and, and replay, it's tough, man. That's why I kind of, like, I love new games, too, but I really love older games because they don't demand... A huge time investment you know like playing stuff like this like fighting games playing the old school super mario sonic games streets of rage ninja turtles arcade games stuff like that i mean it's minimal uh investment of time and you just enjoy yourself now i still love playing new stuff as well but it's just too much man there's too much of interest not enough time what was that that just came through from uh, Charlie Ward? I'm the same. I've cut out collecting retro. All I want is emulation and ODE options. That's that's really like where I'm at. But I still love having certain games physical and, and the original retro cartridges and whatnot. My dream would be one easy miniature console which can play every game I ever want. Shield TV comes close. That's cool, man. I am the same. I have cut out collecting retro. All I want is emulation and own solutions now. Yeah, I've said for a while, like, Mr. would replace a lot of things for me. My only thing with Mr. is, like, it's like an ever-evolving project, and it can be difficult to keep up with um, on certain aspects. But, like, it's just so DIY, it's not, like my first option to play games like i don't have a case for my mister i don't like my mister just looks ugly as fuck and i rarely bring it out to play it like but i love the i love the option i love the accuracy and all that like in my mister it, it, part of it's like yeah it's the looks man i'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna front on that if i had a nice case that looked professional i would probably use my mister more often is that strange? Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. But for me, that's just the way it is. Like, 
It just looks so DIY, I don't really like pull it out. I don't whip it out that often. And it's such an excellent option. Uh, there's the only cases for Mister are like you know they're they're made by people. There's no like actual manufactured like professionally manufactured cases. There's nice cases out there, but there's not like anything widely available from my knowledge. Just like dudes who make them, who sell them. That's about it. Marvelverse Street Fighter with a four megabyte cart. I have I have that as well. <laughs> I need to get I'm, I'm working on getting rid of all my Saturn discs and all my PlayStation One discs. Like my Saturn, I don't even have a Sega Saturn that can play Saturn discs anymore. Oh, yeah. Mister is expensive compared to the Pi 4. That's definitely true. Let me know what I have. I don't have a big collection of Saturn games, but I have a, I have a few, like, a good number of fighters. I know I have that Waku Waku 7. I have the uh, uh, X Men vs. Street Fighter, Alpha 1, Alpha 2, all the virtual fighting games, uh, Dark Stalkers. I don't know what else, man. Chad Wolf is Mr. Noticeably better than Pi 4. Depends on who you talk to, man. Mr. is definitely a, a very accurate solution. But at the same time, you know, it's it's different. It's it's emulating or simulating the hardware where the Pi 4 or RetroPi, more specifically, software emulation. There's nothing wrong with either option. Some will call you a fool for choosing the Pi 4 over Mr., which I think is... Like, I, I get tired of these people that are out there that, like, fight over all that stuff. It's like... Now, whatever options somebody wants to use, whatever options in their budget, leave them the fuck alone. But there, there are people like, you know, I have a Mister, I have Pi Four, I have Pi Three. I've got tons of different options, love options, and I love showcasing options. But there's some people that are just like hell bent on telling you that shit's wrong. Castlevania Symphony Night had a Saturn release in Japan. Yeah, we've played it on the channel. Dude, he's whooping my ass. Fuck. Alright, something else. Pearl Jammer, a co-worker wants an all-in-one system, but he wants it for free. Yeah, he's going to have to set it up himself, right? <sighs> uh, the last blade, too. Why not? If you ever want to sell one of your portable monitors, 
Still check for that G story. I'm I'm gonna be having that G story video up, but if you message me, um, I'll sell you a monitor for for really fucking cheap, dude. I'll I'll sell you like a two hundred dollar monitor for like sixty bucks or something. You know what I'm saying? I got monitors out the ass. <laughs> <coughs> I don't even, I don't know who to pick. Okay. I didn't pick, but there we go. Is this a chick or a dude? I can't tell. I can't tell. Kojiro? Gojira? Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a girl. Okay. I didn't have enough time to inspect. No, I'm not Hibiki. I'm Gojira. I mean Kojiro. I really don't know what I'm doing in this game. Yeah, that's what I was like. You know, I, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't really sure. You know, have you seen, have any of you guys listened to or seen the band, the Japanese band Moi to Moi? Have you ever played Kale Fly? Kale Fly Flying Squadron Ready, 2 on the Saturn? No, I have not. I don't think I was aware there was a part two. Moi de Moi, like, dudes, I don't know, like, if they're even still a band anymore. They're very, very feminine. But music is dope. One time, um, my brother-in-law, he wanted to go to a Deer and Grey concert. It's another Japanese group. And uh, we went. I think it was, it was in Hollywood. And it was the strangest thing, man. It was a long-ass time ago. Like, a long-ass time ago. And um, we went to this, this, you know, Japanese concert in Hollywood. And um, it was mostly all, like, Asian girls, like young Asian girls, and it was like, oh my god, this is like, I feel so out of place. <laughs> it was a fun time, but man, it was, it was strange. I feel like <sighs> pull up in a. They were like it was like a lot of goth Asian Asian girls though. It, it was like they weren't all like um, cutesy like you know they weren't like that. It was like very gothy. The only like Japanese bands I've ever really listened to was Deer and Gray and Moi to Moi. Big Titty Gothies? No, nah, they weren't. They 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 were were definitely not the the Big Titty variety.
every concert I've ever been to, like, I always feel like I just go and I dress the way I normally dress, which is just like a plain shirt, like Dickie's pants, and like, I used to, used to go to like every KMFDM concert ever. Like, if they were in California and they were playing, like, five shows across, like, California, I would go to all of them, right? That kind of thing. And it was, like, for the longest time, like, late 90s, maybe mid, like, close to 2010 or so. Maybe a little later than that. It was always an older crowd. And I always felt like I fit in. <laughs> and then it, like, changed. It was, like, people dressing up and... It was the same thing with like mindless self-indulgence. I used to watch, I used to go to their concerts all the time back in the day. First time I seen them was in 97. And then um, it was always cool. And then like the last show, mindless self-indulgence I went to, like everybody was dressed up and the crowd was extremely young. Um, they were dressed up in like furry suits and costumes. And I was just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on in the world, man. Am I getting old? Am I getting old? What's going on here? Like, I, I just... That's crazy, dude. I think the only, like, in recent years, the only concert I went to where it wasn't like that, where everybody was all dressed up weird and... Like, extremely young was, uh... <sighs> Fuck, dude. The System of a Down in San Diego. Uh... Or Chula Vista, somewhere out there. I don't remember where the fuck it was at. Uh... Six years ago, maybe? Six, seven years ago? I don't even remember. That was the last time I'd been to a concert where nobody was really... Like, all dressed up and crazy, where it just seemed like a bunch of, like, people not putting on theatrics while being in the audience. I deed it. Brian Babin, yeah, funny how time passes before you know it's 10, 12 years later and you're like, what the fuck? It seemed like just yesterday. It's the way it is, man. Time is a crazy thing. Mario DS64, what consoles do I own? I have an NES, I have a Famicom, I have a Super Nintendo, I have a Sega Genesis, Sega CD, 32X, Neo Geo CD, uh, the CDZ, I have a Neo Geo AES, Sega Saturn, um, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1. Uh, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Tons of Nintendo uh, 2DSs, 3DSs. Like, a lot of them more than I need. Um, obviously, Nintendo Switch. We have, like, five Nintendo Switches in my house. No lie. I have a Switch Lite. I have my Switch that's right next to me right here. My son has a Switch Lite. My wife has a Switch Lite, and then we have another Switch in the living room. Um, then we have an Xbox One. I have a PS4, PS4 Pro. I have an Xbox 360. GameCube, Nintendo 64. Randy Banish, what up, man? Yeah, no notifications, man. They've been killing me with the notification game lately. I have a lot of consoles. I don't have a lot of games. A lot of my consoles, mind you have a uh, flashcards or ODEs. Yeah, this background is legit. I don't even know what I'm the fuck I'm doing. I'm picking somebody else. I'll pick pick this person. That's it. I mean, it's is it a lot? I mean, 
I don't know, dude. I do play them, but like, like I said, I don't have a lot of games, dude. Like, physically, I don't have a lot of games since ODs and flash carts came about. Like, Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, the only games I own is Sonic 1, 2, and 3, Sonic and Knuckles, uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And then I also have Michael Jackson um, for the Sega Master System, despite not having a Sega Master System. Um, those are the only games I have for the Sega Genesis. Yeah, I'm sucking at this game, man. Moonwalker is an expensive game. It's been going up. Mine's complete. Looks brand new. Mario DS64 won a Master System? No, I do not. I can play Master System games on my... on my Mega SG. <laughs> I have no desire to get a Master System. I did at one point, but I'm just like, nah. Polymega won't support Sega Master System? That's weird. Why wouldn't they just have, like, an adapter on for the Genesis uh, port? It's just all emulation anyway, right? Matt, is it easy to change to the vector background with the new layout? Yeah, you just uh, drag and drop over the ASP folder. And then double check, make sure that the uh, the backgrounds are named correctly. What was this, zero? Like, you, you'll know what I mean when you look at them. But background zero is for Neo Geo, then one is for Capcom, I believe. You'll see what I mean if you look at the originals and how they're named. As long as the uh, new ones, when you drag them over, as long as they're named the same, uh, you're fine. Accidentally picked this guy. Yeah, I have no desire to get any other consoles. Like, even if somebody was like, hey, Ron, like, I want to send you this, I would tell them no. I, I, like, keep it for yourself or sell it, you know what I mean? Alright, I gotta exit this. I'm... <sighs> gotta play something else, man. I played through Magical Drop 3 not too long ago. Freaking love that game. Yeah, I have the uh, Mega EverDrive, whatever the newest one is, the Pro. Play Master Systems on that. Last Hope. Let's check it out. Charlie Ward, PlayStation Mini. Yeah, PlayStation Mini, you could you can play a lot of stuff on it, man. Mevo 1972, appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. We're going to be ending it in a moment here. I I went I like went right into that for some reason. Can't I can't really see my bullets in this. I'm like focusing on the wrong like shit. I'm like I can't really I can't really see where my bullets are. I mean I know they're right in front of me. Half of the Atari Jaguar library. That's what you're into. I had a Jaguar at one point. Wound up uh getting rid of it. 
All right, this 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 is not this is not starting out good for me. I'm out. I'm out of this. I don't have any hope. I don't have any hope for that. Nam 1975 is a good one, man. Neo Drift Out. I haven't played this. That was your last hope, bro. Charlie Ward, appreciate you, man. Have a good one, dude. I know it's getting a little late. We're going to end it in a few minutes here. Appreciate all you guys. I suck at this already. <laughs> right. Oh shit. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God. oh my God. Yeah, that happens. Fly in the air and freaking hit, hit an invisible wall and spin out in the air. Negative one. Fuck. Okay. okay. It's like Sega Rally and RC Pro Am had a baby. Mackenzie Peters, appreciate that, dude. Ready? Yeah, racing games weren't the uh, strong. <laughs> Strong suit of uh, Neo Geo. Negative four that time. Hmm. All right, one last game to check out. All right, we'll we'll do a couple stages of uh, uh, Nightmare in the Dark. I do prefer Snow Bros, but we're gonna do it, man.
Magician Lord? Marshall, is that what you're talking about? Grab it. Damn it. Jumps, the, the sound doesn't sound right. The jump is a little crunchy sounding. I don't think that's how it's normally. It sounds like uh, the jump sound effect sounds staticky. I really don't think this game is normally like that. I don't know. Sound sounds off in this game. Slightly. I'll play, I'll, I'll do Magician Lord as the last game for a moment. This is kind of definitely a slow paced game. Like I, like I said, whoever brought it up earlier, I think Neo Severa brought it up earlier. I always liked Snow Bros, that style of game, but this just does not feel like Snow Bros. Like this, this feels worse than Snow Bros. Too sluggish. It is Slow Bros. It's like, visually, it's an okay game, but it's just too slow. Like how many hits you gotta do to like, to capture the enemy or whatever. The only main difference is like, you can carry them around. <laughs> the sound is definitely off on this though. Like, I, I have this game, and 
I've played it on the AES. And I've completed it. And this just, it doesn't sound right. The, the sound is fucked up. That static. Can you guys hear it or am I tripping? Like the static when you jump. That's not right. I don't think that's right. Unless it's just there and I play it through a speaker on a on, on my TV because I don't think I've ever streamed this game. But it, playing it on a legit Neo Geo it doesn't doesn't have that sound. It doesn't have that weirdness going on. I don't know. Since I have headphones on, it's like right up in my frickin' ears and it's it's annoying as shit. that move up? No, that's range. Whatever. Yeah, it's like a weird staticky. The game plays like normal. It feels like normal, but that static, there's that little static when you jump. I wonder why. I think, like, the one thing this has over the first Snow Bros is that you could carry the enemy, and the enemy that you throw gives you an item when it, when it, uh, when it's destroyed. But I still prefer Snow Bros. Do you think the Super Nintendo could have been able to do this game back in the day? Um, yeah. To a degree, yeah. I was gonna say, why is he not? This boss is such bullshit. All right, Magician Lord, real quick. There we go. The startup sounds more like the Nintendo DS and the Game Boy Color. That's interesting. Mario DS 64. Kenzie Peters, nice. Streamlabs still not working, man. These little fuckers were all just chilling. Oh my god. Fuck, dude.
Ninja. Sorry to break up the coffee break, guys. What was that, Renee and me? Oh, the Streamlabs. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that shit, man. Pascal Wagner later, dude. We're going to end it in a second. I'm, I can't play this. I don't really like this game. I had this for the AES and I sold it. So I was like, what, what do I need this game for? I'm like, I don't like it. I just don't like it. So sluggish. <laughs> Little bitch. God, dude. Mm. Okay, we killed him. There we go. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't. Yeah. Neo Severe, appreciate that, dude. Got him. Have a good one, man. Stage clear. Matthew Hopkins, you're here late again, and we're about to end it. These guys are all just like <laughs> taking a break. <laughs> so stupid. All right, I'm done with this game. We're going to go ahead and end it. Really do appreciate you guys. Yeah, I don't really care for Magician Lord. I guess once you get in the groove, you get in the groove, but I just never liked that game. Early Neo Geo game. Kind of whatever, right? Kind of whatever. But hey, we've been streaming for two hours, 45 minutes. Really do appreciate you guys. <sighs> gotta, gotta get some rest. Hope you guys have a good one. So hard to say goodbye. But you know what? It is appreciated that you guys hanged out with me. I hope you all have a good one. Yeah, notifications have been messed up lately, Mackenzie Peters. But like I said, wrapping it up. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. I will catch you next time. Bye. Boom. Bye. Thumb butt. All that good shit. Peace out.